Our guest today says gold has proven to be a safe haven for investors, but with all the craziness going on, should the metal be trading higher? Joining us now is John Duty. He's the founder of Gold Stock Analyst. Uh, John, good to have you on the show. On the show, long time no speak. Uh, great to be back with you, Danny. So much has happened since we last spoke uh, in February. I want to say, and you know, gold's had a good run here. Still, one of the best performing assets this year. Are you happy with what you're seeing, John? Yeah, you know, it, it's not. Uh... It's not going up like a rocket, which is good, because when it goes up like a rocket, it can fall back down like a rocket. It's a steady gain, and it's basically uh, due to the falling U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar index peaked at, uh, uh, at 102 back in October, ahead of the election. And since the election, uh, uh, the dollar index has fallen and gold has risen. So I think that... Uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're like at opposite ends of the spectrum. When gold does well, the dollar doesn't. And, and often it's because the dollar is not doing well. Now, John, you say you're happy that you're seeing gold just, you know, not take off like a rocket here. But a lot of investors I speak to are so frustrated and they want to see that scenario uh, like we saw when gold hit 1900. Well, we've got a ways to go to that. And I think that uh, that was an overshoot. We had too many speculators in the uh, in the party and, and uh, drove the price uh, too high. So, it, and it proved to be un, unstable at that price. Uh, so I think if we climb our way higher, we're using $1,400 as our forecast for next year. And, uh, and I think that a steady uh, progression higher is exactly what the metal needs. The good thing is every, almost every miner can make money at $1,300. So it's good to see uh, uh, companies reestablishing dividends you know, or raising dividends and uh, the things that investors need. We don't need to be gold to be a speculation. We need it to be a good investment. So what are you liking on the mining side? What what companies are you eyeing right now? Well, you know, we have a top 10 and we suggest that everybody should make their own portfolio of our top of our top stocks. And the, uh, the reason for that is that you know, when you have a 10 stock portfolio, you can diversify among sectors of the market. We like the royalty companies, we like the growth goals. We like some of the development companies. We don't follow the explorers because they really don't have any uh, uh, data to analyze, and they're more a lottery ticket. Yeah. But we're up 30% so far this year for the top 10. And, and you like the royalty the companies. Indexes. I'm sorry? You like the royalties. Oh, we love the royalties. So... Getting back to gold here, you know, some would suggest that Bitcoin and these new cryptocurrencies may be stealing the metal thunder. Do you see them as a new safe haven? Uh, no, I don't, because uh, the prices are too volatile, and and uh, and, and there's really uh, uh, the, the two subject to to, to issues, uh, the hacking and other issues that uh, we don't even know about yet. And I can see that it's a it's been a good speculation for uh, for, for some people. And, but I would be very wary of it. Uh, uh, when something can be manufactured essentially out of thin air or by a certain amount of electricity run through a, com through a computer, um, it's not, you're not really making anything that's got value. At least gold ounces we know have, have uh, uh, energy and, and in terms of power and mining effort and labor. It, you just don't make a, an ounce of gold out of, out of thin air. And that gives it uh, an underlying value uh, pin that... Uh, you know, gold didn't uh, go below four digits when, when the last uh, fall of the market. And that was because it takes too much money to get gold out of the ground. All right. John Duty, Gold Stock Analyst, thanks so much for joining us today. Okay. Glad to be on. And thanks for watching this edition of Kickles Gold Report. We'll be back next week.